I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a long way to go Say you wanna love me Wanna love me, wanna touch me Think twice cause you got a long way to go Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This video is brought to you by Mike's Designs. Today I'm just going to do a brief video on how to colorize your Photoshop brushes. So I just got a request in by X2 Easy Snipes X, I believe. Excuse me. Um so basically he wants to know how to colorize your Photoshop brushes. So I'm going to do a video on that. So go to file new and make sure first off your color mode is RGB then your width and height is set to pixels and then select OK so once you get your background I'm just gonna start off with a quick gradient so you guys can see what I'm doing and uh, I like to use this black you may see this a lot in my videos and um, so when you're doing Photoshop brushes you're gonna wanna make sure all your brushes is on separate layers unless you want them all on one layer but never on the background because then you would destroy the background layer if you try to edit it so I'm going to select about one two about three blank new canvases or layers then I'm going to select my brush tool then what I'm going to do is type out or just use one of my photoshop brushes over here just like this and I'm gonna set it to about red so you guys can see it and I'm gonna select it on layer one so just like that that's one layer two I'm just gonna change the color up a little bit to blue just like that and um, lastly I'm gonna select the bottom nice lilac purple Alright, so in those three easy steps right there, you have colored brushes already. So standard, instead of the standard black and white, which you would most likely normally get, just set your color mode. So when you're selecting your brushes, make sure you change the color and it can become a certain color. Now, that's one way of doing it. So let's say you have the same brush and it may be white right so plain black and white just like that and you want to colorize this one brush another way you can do it is go down to the effects tool right at the bottom of this uh, layer panel select that select blending options when you select that you can uh, choose to go color overlay just like we did before it starts off with a color you can select that, you can uncheck it, um, go to gradient overlay, you can give your your layers, your uh, brush a certain layer of color with gradients, so as you can see that's colorizing it already, so just select certain gradients that may bring it out even more, just like that, so I'm just selecting different colors so you can see, so I'm just gonna make the brush canvas bigger so you can see alright so what I'm doing is just selecting different gradients so it might so my brush can stand out more so so once you select the one you want you can go down to style and change the style from linear to radial to angle to reflected to diamond and you know just change them and um, I'm just gonna keep something real pastel right now so I like this light blue and what you can do while you're in the layer style is give it a cool drop shadow give it some kind of definition going on just like that um, and also if you want to definitely customize your brush you want to give it some texture so when you select the texture tool right there um, option you can select from a list of patterns that you may have on your computer um, here's one that has carbon fiber that I made um, you got one that says nebula um, you got some other cool brushes over here so I'm just gonna select one so something like that and if you like it you wanna keep this layer style for the next brush you use what you can do 
is go to new style so select that new style right there and you can name it so name it about name it anything you want I'm gonna name it random and what you can do make sure it says include layers layer style effects and if it is blended a certain way with your background you might want to include layer blending options so press OK and then finally press OK so that's just another way of colorizing and customizing your Photoshop brushes um, so basically if you want to just colorize the whole canvas with this same layer effect applied to your brush what you can do is go to down here where is the blending the colorizing options I can't remember what the term for it but what you can do is select hue and saturation alright so once you've selected that you can select colorize oops sorry colorize and what that would do is colorize the whole canvas and um, what you can do is change the color so I must I already know a certain color I want so here's a red one you can select a good saturation of red to, to be applied to your to your uh, canvas and this kind of reminds me of Adobe Flash with this color and um, so I might just keep it like that and apply some text and I might just call this Adobe Flash Adobe Flash and I'll just increase the text just like that so there's Adobe Flash and what I'm gonna do now is select my brush that I made and just nudge it down over here move my Adobe Flash over to the side just like that and this is when the layer styles come in what you can do is go to your layer styles and select the very bottom one where we selected random as you can see the number I mean the name of it right there so select random and what that would do is give your brush or your oh, your um, text that layer style so select your text select the random layer style and as you can see it applies the layer style and um, what you can do if you want you could colorize it so double click on it and you can colorize it a different gradient if you want you can uncheck the gradient and uncheck the bevel and emboss if you don't want any of the layer effects and you can just keep the drop shadow if you want increase the drop shadow just like that have a cool layer effect so I hope this this video helped you guys and if you need any more help just let me know please rate and subscribe and I catch you guys later see ya